Welcome back to Big Dreams, Tiny Budget. Um, it's been cold and I haven't got much done this week, which is why you haven't seen a video from me for a bit. Uh, let's see, last week, Friday, I woke up to frozen pipes <laughs> and uh, went round to town to buy a um, blowtorch so that I could unfreeze the pump outside of uh, the frost free spigot outside because I left the uh, water hose connector on there so it didn't drain properly and I thought that that's why it was frozen to the house because that's where my pipes come into the house and um, so ran and did that did some grocery shopping you know the whole milk and bread bread thing for because we were getting snow and uh, by the time I got home, the indoor pipes were running fine. Outside, it's still not running. And I haven't gone out there to um, try to defrost it. I'll just wait until it, it warms up some. It did warm up today. We got down to like, my thermometer said negative seven. One of my neighbors said it was negative nine that morning. Um, <laughs> so it did get pretty cold. But um, I stayed a whole lot warmer this time than I did last year at this time. Uh, last year, this whole room, this whole section of the house, uh, the kitchen and the living room, I had no insulation, no drywall. It was just the outside siding and the two by fours. And then I hung a curtain across the hallway to try and only heat that end of the house. And all my water jugs froze and, um, and then burst. <laughs> and then um, even the dog water in the other side of the house, that froze. So it was pretty bad last year. Um, thankfully, we don't get cold and stay cold for a long period of time. It usually lasts a week or so. And then it goes away and then it comes back again later in the year and then it goes away again. So outside, I don't know if you can see out there but that's my road out and it's uphill and it's completely covered in ice and snow um it started to, to melt and then it froze over and there's no way i'm going to try and attempt to get out of that plus my car is still the truck outside is still identifying as an ice cube my jeep liberty the winter four-wheel drive vehicle has a dead battery <laughs> So I'm not going anywhere for a while, which is fine because I have a to-do list that is uh, two pages long. So, and that's just little stuff that I can do right now uh, because I already have the materials. Well, some of the materials are in the truck, which is frozen shut right now. But um, most of it I can do. And I want to just try and knock out all this stuff in the next few days. So I'm going to see what all I can get done today. Uh, the first thing is clean the fridge. You guys see that? I got to change out the refrigerator doors because they open the wrong way. I have to change the freezer doors because they open the wrong way. Um, I have those cabinet drawers that I bought that I can try to install. I say try because I'm not sure if I have the right tracks for them. Um, if I get those installed, I need to organize those, organize the cabinets a little better because, <laughs> let me show you. I mean, I have all this stuff out on the counter, which drives me insane. And then that is all the plastics and I don't need that much Tupperware plastic stuff. So I need to go through that and get rid of, you know, like these things that I'll never ever use. And uh, so I need to organize those a little better. Um... I need to fix that outlet on this back wall. I need to cut out the counter backsplash here. 
the piece of wood that's going to go around the back of the countertop. And then I need to plane it down and stain it and clear coat it. And I need to paint the cabinets, the nail plates for the hallway. I need to put those up, the nail stops um, over where the wires go through so that I can hang the drywall. And those are part of the materials that are frozen in the truck. <laughs> so if the truck defrosts, I can get that done. Uh, somebody's calling me. Okay, and then install the hall drywall, which I need the nail plates first. I uh, wanna organize this pantry a little bit better. Um, I have a bunch of recipes. <laughs> so when I unpacked my kitchen stuff, I found a bunch of my recipes. But for the last, uh, since 2014, my recipes have been in storage. So what I did was I got a book. I just got a little notepad here. And I started writing down recipes that I kept looking up all the time or whatever. So I have those favorite recipes in here. And then I have this mess of a container that got packed away. This box back here got packed away when I first moved from California to uh, Washington. And it's been packed away for a long time. So I'm going to go through that. And the recipes that I'll still use, I want to copy into a book. Um, so that's another thing that I could do while I'm on my little sabbatical from reality because I can't get out. Um, and then I also want to pack up my tool room, which is a nightmare. Uh, because, let's show you. And yeah, I'm indoors. It's actually pretty warm. Uh, it got to 30 something today. Um, and I'm wearing a jacket indoors because I decided to turn off all my heaters and try to save on electricity. But this is where I was storing all my tools. This is actually the spare bedroom when it has another wall in here. And so I need to pack up all these and hopefully put them into my shed because the electric for the living room is gonna come up from that panel across the ceiling tile here, down into the wall, and then across here, and the other side of that is the living room. So um, I'll have to pull out sheet rock and everything out of here, but all this stuff's gotta go. Uh, it would be nice if my shop were already you know, cleaned and organized and then I could just hang it up out there. That way I could find this stuff. But in reality, that's not happening anytime soon. So in the meantime, I got to get that stuff out of here so I can finish off this living room. And then uh, the other thing I have is there's these Luan, Luan sheets that I have stacked up here on top of the um, sheetrock. And those Luan sheets are going to be cut into six inch strips for another project later. So I figure I might as well cut them while I have them, which is going to mean a whole bunch of sawdust in the house. But who knows, maybe it'll defrost by then and it'll just be cold outside and I can cut them outside, but we'll see. Anyhow, and then all these empty boxes and junk on top has to go, <laughs> but... For now, it's just stored there. I know it looks like a mess in here, but uh, I'm going to get busy here. I'll put you guys on time lapse and let's see what all I can get done. Um, just trying to prepare everything else and get it off my to-do list so that I could start the project of running the electric in here and um, not have all this stuff in my way. You guys are all crooked. Not have all this stuff in my way in the meantime. So let me get busy and I'll stop yakking. Sorrow and the old ways get 
washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you this. If you try to get some sleep, if you give up the fight, if only just. Okay, well that was a little more haphazard and hairy and taking longer than I thought it should. Um, I just changed these doors out like six months ago because when I had it back in that corner over there, it was opening towards the, do the wall and I couldn't stand that because I had to open the, the door all the way to get in there to do anything. So now, this opens to the cabinet, so I don't have to go around the door anymore to put stuff on the countertops. But it's leaning a little bit that way, which is why the doors keep trying to close on it. And I'm not strong enough to um, adjust that leg on it, but it doesn't matter because this setup is temporary. Very soon I need to come in here and cut off this much of the countertop. I'm going to take this refrigerator off of the dryer stand that I have it on now and either build a pedestal for
for it to sit on. Because I don't like how wobbly it is. Um, well, it's on there. It's a little wobbly. So, um, I'm either going to build a pedestal for it to sit up on and then put the drawer in that or I'm just going to set it down on the floor. The thing I didn't like about it being all the way down on the floor was, take, I, it's going to take me a while to remember to grab the other side of the door, <laughs> but everything's so low to the ground. I almost had to get on the ground to get stuff out of the bottom of the refrigerator. But someday this will grow up to be a real refrigerator, not, you know, this little tiny apartment size one. And uh, I'm still saving for all that. So let me see what I can get into next. I think my next goal is going to be to try and get some of this stuff off of the counters. So I'm thinking the bread machine and the mixer can go up on top of the refrigerator. That way when the refrigerator falls on me, you know, it'll knock me out really good. But it, just all this clutter on the counter is driving me absolutely insane. So um, I think I'm going to do that. But let me go ahead and cross off things off my list. Oh, I didn't bring a pin in here. I'll be back. Okay, so we got clean fridge. I could cross off and change the fridge doors. Now do I dare to... Golly, I have no pins that write, apparently. Um, do I dare to do the freezer one now? I have a feeling the freezer is going to be like the refrigerator where it has something on the top, but it also has something on the bottom. Yeah, I think the freezer can wait until I move it into the hallway where it's going to go for forever. Uh, because I'll have to empty it out to move it. And then I can tip it back a little bit and work on the doors. It was easier on their fridge because you saw I was able to pull the fridge out a little bit and it was just hanging there, but uh, I'm not doing that with the freezer. I'd have to empty the whole thing. So the freezer can wait. See, install cabinet drawers. I'm not doing that today. Uh, we got the backsplash, but I got to fix the wall first. I think I'm going to go copy down recipes because I've already cleaned my desk and my computer this morning. And now with the fridge thing done, uh, I guess I could start packing up the, the tool room, but we'll see. I'm going to go sit down and take a rest and um, start writing out my recipes. First, I'm going to see what I can get off this countertop. Here, I'll let you guys follow along. Let's see what I can get up there before my battery dies because the battery's also dying. Batteries on the GoPros overheat in the summertime because it's too hot. And in the wintertime, they just die because it's too cold. So go figure. Okay. It's still full of crap, but not as bad. And some of this stuff, once I get the painting done, then, you know, I can hang up the stuff that I need to hang up. But, yep, I think that's going to be it for now. I'm going to clean up my tools here and go copy down recipes. And uh, hopefully I can find an empty book to copy them down into because they're all willy-nilly right now. I have some recipes that are for Instapot, some of them that are for the air fryer, some of them that are for a crock pot, which is also the Instapot. But, um, and then some of them, a lot of them are for an oven and a stove. And I'm kind of excited to go back through some of these. See, there's one that I used to do all the time when the kids were home. But actually, some of these are laminated, so maybe I won't copy them down. Maybe I'll just leave them. Pork chili verde. Oh, I had a lot of 
uh, Chinese food recipes too. So yeah, I'm looking forward to going through these recipes and writing down the ones that I'll still use and the ones that I won't be using, you know, cause the kids aren't here anymore. Um, then I could just toss them. Are you nice and cozy right next to the fireplace? On top of my jacket and my keys and my purse. Hey there, Dreamer. So it is the next day. I'm talking so the dog thinks I'm talking to her. Get out of the cat food. <laughs> Today is Friday. I'm pretty sure it's Friday. I don't know. I've been in the house for, yeah, it's Friday, January 19th. I have been in the house for a week now. I think it was a week ago that I left. Uh, so yeah, a little bit of cabin fever going on, but uh, I'm gonna get back to my little to-do list. I didn't do anything else last night. So I'm gonna try and get stuff done today. It is already <laughs> one o'clock. <laughs> so I think what I'm gonna try tackling today is um, installing the cabinet drawers. Uh, and then I'm also thinking about packing up some of the tool room so that I can uh, get busy on that portion of it. So let's see what I can get off this to-do list today. Okay, I'm scrapping that project for now. I'm gonna go get the rollers that belong to this drawer or you know what's on here. Let me show you what happens. Is that this original cabinet had the ones that hung in the back and they came through here and then they attached here on the side. And on this one, I have to fill in an inch to use these rollers. I'd have to fill in an inch but all the wood that I have, it just splits when you try to, um, to put it in there. So I think I'm just going to go back to the big city and where I got the cabinets from and ask them for the other two pieces of each drawer because I don't have any one inch wood exact. I was trying to use a piece of a two by four and it just splits. And I think that's gonna happen with all the wood that I use, unless I use a piece that goes all the way across. So yeah, just not dealing with it. Um, I'm looking around to see if I have any other, all I have is two by fours and uh, <laughs> that's not gonna work. Oh, I wonder if I can use the shelf. No, I kind of want to put the shelf in the cabinet. Never mind. All right, so I'm going to scrap that. 
Maybe I'll hang the shelf up, but uh, I'm going to scrap that idea because I just don't feel like dealing with it today. All right, let's go look and see what else I can get into. Well, what's it doing? For some reason, the front of this, I can't see what you guys are seeing, but whatever. I'm over the GoPro. Okay, so since I already got this cabinet cleaned out, some of you guys may know that I am doing this whole kitchen remodel thing or rebuild, really. It's not a remodel. I completely gutted the kitchen and uh, took out all the cabinets that come standard in a mobile home. And now I'm using what cabinets I could get really cheap. So this back corner, um, back in the corner of my kitchen, I didn't do the Lazy Susan thing. I didn't even have room for one. So what I did was I put an old cabinet in there and just to help hold up the counter back there. But what I'm gonna do is cut a hole in here that'll go into that other cabinet so I can use it for the storage of the stuff that, you know, I never ever use. So, since I already have the cabinet cleaned out, that's what I'm gonna work on. I'll put you on time lapse and let you watch me make a huge mess here. I got my feet on the cloud and I want to Do 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 do. Okay, so now what I have is a hole that goes back into that other cabinet that you can't see because it's so dark in here. But I can see I can I need to cut out more on the bottom here because my stock pots are gonna fit back in there. And that's what I'm gonna use this for. I'm gonna put all my stock pots, you know, canning stuff, the stuff that I don't have to bring out all that often, or you know, just seasonal and um shove that back in that back cabinet back there so um i'll spare you guys the details but i'm gonna go ahead and cut out more of this and i'll come back in a bit appalachian sunrise meets my skin even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it coming in. Golden, golden, I'll follow home. Golden, 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 golden things. Mountain Laurel High Five. Miles in spring, rainbow trout and hummingbird wing. Golden, I follow the golden, golden, golden things. Gold hair, gold ring. Okay guys, I think that's gonna be it for this video. 
I did not get to get my drawers installed or organized, but as you could have seen, got the cabinets organized. Opening that back cabinet gave me a whole lot more space. I don't know if you could see back in there, but all my stock pots are back there, plus the spare coffee pot and stuff that I don't use uh, all that often. I think eventually the induction burner is gonna go in there too. But then I got to clean out this one, which I had all my under sink stuff in. Um, so this one will hold my canning jars and probably my um, canner. Right now it's gonna be storage for paper towels, which my kitty loves to destroy. And um, my potatoes, because I don't have a pantry and they kept uh, going bad on me. And now all my sink stuff is underneath my sink. And that's all organized. It's all clear behind back in there because I didn't want to deal with all that. But, yep. Um, all that's organized. So, you know, the stuff that I, that I grab frequently is right out front. So that's good. Um, and what else did I do? But, yeah, cleared up my countertop some. Still need to find places for stuff, but that's okay. Uh, so I am going to go, this time I really am going to go sit down and start going through my recipes. And I'm also going to make some, I haven't decided yet if I was going to make lasagna or chicken enchiladas. I think it's going to be the chicken enchiladas because I have some chicken I need to use up. So, uh. I'm going to make up some of that and freeze it. I mean, I'm going to make up a whole pan of it, but um, since it's just me here, I'll be freezing a bunch of the leftovers in little individual containers so that I don't have to eat lasagna for a week or enchiladas for a week. Okay, I think that's going to be it. The puppies want to go outside and play in the snow, so I'm going to let them, let them go wear themselves out and... Uh, then come back in and cook dinner. So I will chat with you guys later. Thanks for watching. I did not know.